Which age was Ahaziah when he became king? We're going to answer that question, and you can also discover more on GodQuestions.org. The books of Kings and Chronicles cover much of the same history of God's chosen people. First and Second Kings take the perspective of the northern kingdom of Israel, while First and Second Chronicles focus more on the southern kingdom of Judah. But the same kings are mentioned in both histories. There is some question about Judah's King Ahaziah's age when he started to reign. One record says Ahaziah was 22 years old at the start of his reign, but the other record says he was 42 years old, at least in some translations. All translations of 2 Kings 8.26 are in agreement that Ahaziah of Judah was 22 years old at the start of his reign. And most translations of 2 Chronicles 22 also have his age at 22. However, some versions state that Ahaziah acceded to the throne when he was 42 years old, not 22. There are several theories to explain the discrepancy between passages. Here are four of them. 1. 2 Kings 8.26 records when Ahaziah began co-ruling with his father Joash, while 2 Chronicles 22.2 records when Ahaziah began ruling on his own once his father Joash died. 2. The 42-year age is that of Ahaziah's mother. This theory is based on the peculiar wording of the Hebrew in 2 Chronicles 22.2, which literally says that the king was a son of 42 years. 3. The 42 years is a reference not to Ahaziah's age, but where he came in the history of his family's dynasty. Ahaziah was in the family of King Ahab of Israel. That dynasty began with his grandfather, Omri. Since Ahaziah began to reign in Judah in the last years of Joram's reign in Israel, Ahaziah would have ascended the throne in the 42nd year of that dynasty in Israel, which explains his being called a son of 42 years. Ahaziah was a son of the dynasty of Omri, which was in its 42nd year when he took the throne. If this theory is correct, then 2 Kings gives us Ahaziah's age, and 2 Chronicles gives us the age of his family's rule. 4. Somewhere in the centuries-long copying process, a scribe made an error, changing the 22 years of 2 Chronicles to 42 years. Not all the Hebrew manuscripts reflect the error, as a couple of ancient translations, the Syriac and the Arabic, each have 22 years, thus bringing the passages into perfect agreement. Adding support to this fourth theory is the biblical historian's note in 2 Kings that Ahaziah's father, Joram, died at the age of 40. Joram could not have had children before he himself was born. And so Ahaziah's age, when he began to reign, must have been 22. The original manuscript of each book of the Bible, being directly inspired by God, was free from all error. However, a few copyist errors crept into the Hebrew manuscripts as they were passed down from one generation to the next. In this case, the numerical notations in question varied so slightly that a smudge of ink, a wrinkle, or a tear in one copy could have led a scribe to write 42 rather than 22. The Bible today is just as authoritative as it was when it was originally written. We can completely trust the Bible as being God's message to us. God's word endures forever, despite the occasional scribal mistake. Such errors are readily identified, and the issues they give rise to can be resolved. That answers the question, which age was Ahaziah when he became king? On our website, gotquestions.org, you'll find a deeper discussion and recommended resources. If this helped you, give us a thumbs up and click subscribe. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, click the bell and check out these other questions. <laughs>